Hi, everybody. Now, before I button up the Vorsets here and put all the covers back on, I just wanted to point out a couple of things that I added to it. Um, one of them was a filter for the tracking device. Now, on my, my foot pump RS Howard over here, within about two and a half years of a lot of heavy playing, uh, despite you know cleaning the tracker bar regularly with the tracker bar pump, my tracking mechanism filled up with lint and gunk, um, you know, from being played so much. And uh, it stopped working. So I had to take it apart and clean out all the junk um, from inside there. And so I thought it would be smart to build a little filter. Uh, it's just a very simple design. You have four nipples on this side coming in. They come in on top. There's a little shoulder where a, a fine stainless steel mesh screen goes down in there, which filters the air. And then they continue on out uh, to the tracking device. And that way you can just take the cover off this and vacuum it out rather than having to completely uh, disassemble the tracking device to get all the gunk out of there. So I've inserted that right here uh, in the tubing. Another interesting thing I noticed with the tracking device is on certain rolls, particularly those with slightly curled edges, um, they were making sort of a squeaking sound occasionally. It drove me crazy because I couldn't figure out where it was coming from at first. And then I realized that the suction from the bleeds inside the tracking device were making the edges of the paper vibrate as it passed over them. And so I decided that a, a good approach would be instead of connecting the tracker uh, tracking mechanism to the reservoir, the main reservoir, as it was originally, I decided to connect it downstream of this regulator here, which controls the level of vacuum that goes to the expression valves. So this generally runs at about 10 inches, which is five inches lower than the main reservoir. And that seems to have uh, solved the problem. So I was thrilled about that. Um, and then I had mentioned previously how I built this little pneumatic, uh, which converts um, the sustain pedal uh, push button here into a lock and cancel signal that will run the uh, sustain valve. While I was playing, it was kind of nice to put um, just regular 88 note rolls on here and play them sort of as background music while I was making breakfast or whatever. And I noticed that um, I thought, well, gee, wouldn't it be nice if the automatic sustain pedal would work while you're playing rolls in 88 note mode. And I noticed that most sustain pedal tracks run along uh, hole number three, tracker bar, tracker bar hole number three here. And so I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if I could hook that up to the sustain pedal? So I built um, a, a double cutout pouch and then an inverter valve so that when you switch the welty or non-expression switch into non-expression mode, it reconnects pole number three from the expression valve, it's the crescendo off valve in the base, and it reconnects it to the sustain pedal, uh, you know, push button hose, which then operates the sustain pedal. So it's kind of nice to have that happening automatically. Even if you're standing here adding expression to your regular 88 note rolls, it's nice to have the sustain being handled automatically because your full concentration is pretty much on these two buttons here. Uh, so that, that made listening to regular 88 note rolls uh, a lot more pleasurable. Some rolls really need that sustain. Um, and um, I'll demonstrate uh, that in just a minute. Another thing that I added, which was really helpful, was 
um, a turn screw that controls how fast uh, the the mechanism rewind, rewinds when it goes into re-roll. Uh, this turn screw basically limits how far the little pneumatic can open uh, that opens the port that allows vacuum in for rewind. And um, I'll put a little picture of what that unit looks like up so you can see. And uh, the more you screw that thumb screw in, the slower it rewinds. And the more you screw it out, the faster it re rewinds. So that really helps protect the old fragile rolls by uh, controlling the re-roll speed. So anyway, here I'll, I'll quickly demonstrate uh, the sustain working on a regular 88 note roll. This is Paul Jouard playing Love Walked In. <laughs> See how that really makes that introduction work otherwise it would just sound choppy and pretty bad as i'm putting all the covers back on i want to point out a feature that i think is really clever that i haven't seen on on any other push-up or vorsetzer uh, it has these little clips or brackets here that you can loosen and then all the fingers just fold down, this piece folds up, and this piece comes down. And that hides the fingers when you're not using the, the Vorsetzer and also keeps them safe while you're moving it. So I thought that was a very, <laughs> very good feature to incorporate. I hope you've enjoyed watching. This has been a really fun project for me. And I think the owner's going to enjoy it for a long, long time to come. Thanks, everybody.